Hi guys. Well, today I'm fiddling around here with my home-built uh, CNC machine. It is a very simple build, but it works in <laughs> fact better as expected. So I want to upgrade it now with some uh, home switches and limit switches. So the first thing you absolutely need to do is to find a position for your for your, uh, in this case I start with the home switches and I had to make a bracket as you can see and uh, I also had to glue in um, uh, a switch. Uh, this switch can be normally closed, normally open, it really doesn't matter. We change all that in the firmware of the SMC4. The SMC4 is a very cheap unit and uh, it's very reliable. I think right now you can get it for under, 200, uh, under 100 euros and it is an offline controller for your CNC machine, your laser, your plasma, whatever project you can have. So um, I will show you how you connect these wires and how we configure the, the, the firmware for the switch. Okay? Okay, first thing to do is, when you turn this around, is to locate the clamps here at this board. And um, it doesn't matter how you connect them, this is all the inputs. And um, it doesn't matter how to connect, because your switch can be normally open or normally closed it doesn't matter we will configure that later on on the panel here so uh, the most important thing now is to get rid of some of the isolations here and i just find uh, an available slot here i have one here So it sits, fits. And then the same we do for the white one. On isolation off. There we go. And, uh, and that is this one. And we enter this into. Here. So, that's it so far. So, uh, we will now turn everything back around. And that's how you continue with your switches. Yeah, you can see I have my 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 home switches now installed here. I could also install my my um, uh, limit switches that I will do do later on. But the procedure is the same. So let's take a look here. What's going on? You turn on your SMC, and we get we get the info screen. You go and do uh, into your machine and you choose home settings. That's wrong. We don't choose home settings. We do the test button. Because I want now to test my switch and see if there is a connection. So I go physically and you can see that switch number seven is triggered. And that means we can now go to the home button, put our, enter our parameters into the system. So let's do that. So I go to the home, and we were talking about the set axis, and we enable it by entering a one, and we enter width 
pin number it was, and that was number seven. Okay. Push OK. So first of all, I will save the settings. So and exit. Reset. And I will just go a little bit down with my C axis. And let me say return to home. It goes up, that's the right direction, and goes very slow. Um, we will have to enter a little bit faster speed now. So it's very slow, that we will change. But let me first see if it works. So. Yeah, it really did. So, so that was cool. That was really cool. So the switch works and it goes up, but it's really, it's really going slow. I don't think we can. Hmm. Set access. What is this? I don't know. Maybe it is. Let's try to see what's going on here. Enter that one. Go to save. Go to exit. Uh, and I will set. Take my this down. Take my return to home. No changes there. No changes there. Okay, I will figure that out later. So the solution for the for the running a little bit faster here on the set came that I had on the on the home or limits, which I had to enter a one, and then I also needed to enter one in direction, so it went. To the right direction then it is this value the speed here that is uh, actual and will be the one in this case 800 uh, that will uh, move the the set axis up and if you look here now i will just uh, show you how fast it's going now and uh, now i go on the return to home let's see here yeah. See now, and it stops on the switch, and now the x axis goes over. And after that, it goes on a y. I will stop it here. So, that was the solution for the SMC4.